Hi friends, my name is Mariah. Today I'm going to be doing a little book chat review on A Year Down Yonder by Richard Peck, which is the sequel to A Long Way from Chicago. Um, both of these books were Newbery Honor winners as well, too. Um, the reason why I chose this book is when I was a young adult reader, uh, way back in the fifth and sixth grade, my favorite teacher ever, Mr. Thomas, introduced me to the works of Richard Peck um, based on my interest of loving history and historical fiction. Um, I think something that gets overlooked often in our society is the relationship between young people and older generations. And so I feel that this book is a really great way to kind of create conversations around that for families, for educators, um, but even just for friends, like to talk about and consider, um, you know, how we have our relationships with people that are in generations older and younger than us. Um, so the premise of this book is 14 year old Mary Alice Dowdle leaves uh, Chicago, Illinois um, in the late summer of the like 1934. Um, when we were hitting a recession, um, an economic recession in the United States. Uh, she can't afford to live with her parents. Her parents have to downsize, and so she goes downstate to live with her grandma in rural Illinois. So I'm from East Central Illinois, and so I think that's probably why I identified so strongly to this as a young kid, um, just because there are so many aspects of growing up in a farm town, being new, all you know, moving into those spaces um, as kind of the city kid and maybe not fitting in. Um, so just with that little preview, it kind of gives you an idea that there are a lot of overarching themes that you find within young adult literature. We have stories of identity, coming of age, um, romantic interests in classmates, and um, most importantly though, I think it's a really great story of a relationship between the protagonist and her grandmother. Um, her grandma is very untraditional and teaches her how to advocate for herself and take care of herself. Um, which is, I think, timely considering that um, young girls and women throughout history weren't always um, empowered to be really strong, iconic people. Um, and so it's so fun to read a story about a grandma who doesn't give a care about what her community thinks about her. Um, she is strong, owns who she is. She has this reputation of being a little bit trigger happy. Um, but also is like really caring and kind and in support of her family and her community as well. Um, and those lessons Mary Alice gets to learn along the way. Uh, it's a great storytelling book. It's very short. I read it every year over my winter holiday break. Um, as a little walk down memory lane. Um, there's a lot of really funny little little blurbs, little stories. Um, so it's a great way to create, like I said, those conversations between adults and kids other adults and just if you want something lighthearted and easy to read, um, it is reminiscent of the simpler pre-technology -technolo days um, that maybe we have forgotten or lost sight of, you know, as you're in more of a millennial or Generation Z um, age range. I think what's really cool about this series as well too is I was really privileged to grow up with my grandparents. Um, and my great grandma. So my great grandma actually passed away this week, um, but I got to listen to all of her stories growing up and it is such an amazing privilege um, that I got to experience and I recognize that that may be unique um, in the modern world to know so many different sets of my grandparents. So I feel like that this book does a really good job of creating and giving everybody a piece of what that would be like um, in written form. So I love it. I hope that you guys enjoy it too. If you have questions or you read it and you wanna talk about it, let me know.